for today's video. It's going to be a little different video than normal. I'm not going to be doing a uh, reduced load simulating long range. It's going to be another one on the 176 grain 30 caliber Hornady A tips. Go check out submoashooting.com. They sell little sample packs. Might be able to save yourself some money in load development. Today I'm going to be shooting both high velocity loads. One out of a short barreled 308, the other one out of a 30 out six. Just trying to show more of a mid range effect of these bullets, but on the upper side of that mid range. I'm going to shoot the 308 first. chunks of that bowl in there. Overall definitely not too bad. That one is traveling at 2,418 feet per second. And you have that traveling two and an eighth before it really opens up. You got that really good permanent wound cavity from the two and a half inch mark to just shy of the 12 inch mark. Then you can see parts of the jacket where they stopped. One at the 17 and a quarter inch mark and the other at 18 and a half with what's left of that lead penetrating 24 and 3 eighths of total penetration and we know from my other tests these bullets will operate clear down to that uh, 1800 feet per second probably a little slower so that's just showing you overall it's gonna be a good hunting round let's flip these and shoot it with one a little bit faster out of a 30 out six chunks of uh, copper and lead out first. Show you that there.
do not see where my little board flew off to. Give me a second. Traveling 2,919 feet per second. Dave, another gorgeous permanent wound cavity. And we have that one opening up a uh, a little more uh, instantaneously, so not sure why that is when most of them give me two to three inches of penetration, but I've seen that with uh, other bullets I've tested too. Let me put my block over because I don't think when I set it back up here I set it the right direction. actually does not line up with the permanent wound cavity down below. So I'm having a hard time seeing what veered where for what exact reasons here. But I do got my lead chunk here and my copper jacket up here. I'm guessing Actually, I see exactly what's going on now. Pretty sure. Because all these tears of lead are going this direction. That thing had a fair bit of penetration before it created. My block is backwards. Together like a puzzle piece and you actually have the wound channels coming to the copper there the wound channel coming down with the lead down here so we had a fairly significant amount of delay on that expansion we're at uh, five and three quarters where it looks like it starts opening up there Carrying the really good permanent wound cavity from the six and a quarter inch mark to just past the 15 inch mark. Then you have that jacket veer up and its leading edge is at 17 and a half. You have some good lead fragments at 16 and three quarters. And again at 17 and five eighths. Then you got a bunch of lead fragments down here. That big chunk's leading edge is 25 and 3 eighths. So that's a, again a little bit more delayed expansion than what I've been getting with my other test. Most of them are in that two to four inch range. Um, overall, good performing bullets. You got your Hey, sorry guys, I forgot to get you this measurement on that other one. You are at four and a quarter or just over. And this one tore all sides of the blocks in there. Um, really can't complain with that all overall performance. They grenade a little more than bullets I prefer, but it just baffles me on how similar the performance of these are is to the burger bullets I've tested. Um, so if you like burgers for hunting, you probably like these. Hope you guys enjoy the video.